I went to a festival of yarn today and you know how sometimes you hear about a thing and it sounds cool but it's got a name that has a lot to live up to, right? A festival of yarn sounds like a big deal amount of yarn. And when I hear names like that, I'm always reminded of the time at a petting zoo, at a big zoo, there was Guinea Pig City advertised and uh, I approached Guinea Pig City and therein was a hutch with three guinea pigs in it. And I always have a concern that it's going to be the same level of disappointment <laughs> as the guinea pig city was. And yet, it was brilliant. Here's, here's the event brochure, by the way. Do -na -na. Unravel. An event of many things to do with yarn. I've just, I thought that was a cocktail. I've just realized it's a yarn bowl. That makes a lot more sense. And in fact, it's a yarn bowl that's made up to look like food that's knitted. I really missed that marketing there. But anyway, Unravel. Festival of Yarn. So I wanted to show you what I got today from the Festival of Yarn in Farnham, in Surrey, in the south of England, in the United Kingdom. If you visit or are in the UK and you are at all into crochet or knitting, go. If it's on, go. Here are some reasons why I think it's awesome and then I'm going to show you what I got. It's a pretty good price. So the on the door price for tickets was 14 quid. It was kind of funny um, because if you ordered them in advance, they were 12. But then when I went to book online, there was a one pound 50 booking fee. So I saved 50p. But nevertheless, having been there and wandered around, th so this is a cool old building that it's in. It's called the Maltings. And it's got like some big halls and then some little rooms. And I've been to other things there before, but I did not realize how far back this building went. I mean, it was packed out. There were so, so many sellers. And I would say the majority of the yarn was double knit yarn, which is really great for a lot of people. For me personally, what I went looking for was more sort of around the Aran chunky weight yarn. There was not as much Aran weight yarn as I would have liked, especially in all the sort of fantastical colours that a lot of the DK yarn came in, but it was just so good to look at. Do what I did and go with an awesome friend. Shout out to my awesome friend, Sarah. She also writes some of the patterns on the Lucy Kate Crochet website. Um, is as heavily into yarn fibre crafts as me, possibly even more so. So ideal person to go with, so same sort of attitude to staring at stuff and it was just absolutely lovely. Such nice people, a really like chill friendly vibe. Um, I go to quite a lot of big shows for a different sort of hobby, a very different sort of hobby, um, and, and the vibe's, you know, fine. But this was just so nice friendly, we got chatting to several people and just really nice. I'm not being paid to promote this event, by the way. The event's already happened this year and and no one would pay me to promote an event anyway. But just so you know, this is just my opinion. But it was really lovely. So great things about it. Value for money ticket price. I would say almost all of the yarns there were like actual wool and wool blend. There was not like cheap acrylic sort of budget end yarn at all but the ones that were there ranged from I think 16 pounds to up in the sort of 30s maybe even 40 pounds for, for 100 grams for a skein. skein. I can never say that word. Um, so there was a big budgetary range. Some of the people didn't label their yarn and then you had to ask and be like oh, it's not actually good value. But remembering that this is people who've got their own small flocks of sheep predominantly, it's self-dyed stuff, mostly UK based. Um, so, you know, the price tag is naturally going to be higher and people have different overheads, you know. So it's fine, absolutely fine for people to charge a bit more money for some of them. But some of them were out of what I would consider reasonable for my budget. But if you have no budget, I mean, there was, there was some incredible stuff. And honestly, even if you weren't necessarily going to buy a lot, there was just so much to look at. Incredible sort of neon vibrant colours. It was, it was just really lovely. So I stuck very much to a colour palette for what I got, but I have to show you what I got right at the beginning when I got there because I'm so pleased with it. It is a new hook. I wasn't going to buy any more hooks. Oh my gosh, is it still in my bag? If it's not, I'm going to cry. It is. 
So I was looking at these wooden um, handmade hooks and then the lady pointed out that they actually had exchangeable tops. This is just there's no sadly there's no marketing in the bag I'll see if I can find from um, from the directory for you what it was um, what the company was called but this she had all different shapes and types and and weights and thicknesses of handle and then it pops off so you can either it's turned so hard to focus on my face I'm so sorry you can either hold it here because it the cameras like faces you can either swap the hooks around so they unscrew ta-da and it came with loads of different sizes of hooks um, or you can make it even more super travel friendly and put it in there how good is that so for me this once i picked it up there wasn't really any way you're going to pry it back up my hands and get me to put it down again it is so smoothly finished it is lovely and lightweight and i hold i hold my hook slightly unconventionally with too many fingers and it just it works so perfectly i'll try and find out what the company was um so you can have a look at their website but yeah awesome and super friendly lady at the stall i don't know if she was the one who actually made the hooks and the word i didn't ask but really nice so that's awesome i'll let you know in a later video when i when i start working with it as well how i'm finding it but that could be a game changer for me i've spent the last decade using um cheapy hooks so very exciting next thing these were so so reasonably priced so also i love this right it's called lily kate makes I'm Lucy Kate, my daughter's Lily. That was a bit perfect. Um, and I got two in this really cute pink and one in this really nice brown. And so I'm either gonna use these for a migurumi or for making like a little blankety project, but really, really pleased with these colors. They're 90% merino, 10% alpaca, and um, they're Aran weight, I think, or worsted weight, worsted weight. Anyway, really, really nice. And it's so great being at something where you can feel all the different textures before you buy. And I think that that was a really big thing. Some of the, um, some of the people had obviously naturally quite similar products to look at, but they had quite a different texture. And it got me really familiar with what kind of sheep I like the wool of the most as well. And now I can't remember what they were called. Blue Face Lester? I think that was the one that university I liked everything. Ah, now, super pleased with these. West Yorkshire Spinners Fleece, and these are Aaron Waite and they are from Jacob's Sheep. So quite sort of muted colors, obviously a nice a white and a gray, but very much that goes with a lot of what I make. And yeah, love these. Again, very reasonably priced. And then the final ones, and I wanted something that was a bit, a bit sort of a bolder colour. And again, I've got such a bias for merino wool. These are 100% merino. They are, oh, they pass the softness test with flying colours. But check out this. How gorgeous are they? And what was really nice is that I have accidentally picked a load of things that go really well together super successful day just wanted to quickly show you what i've got um if something comes up in your local area and it's just a festival of yarn or a collection of yarn a gathering of yarn enthusiasts just go i'm so bad at going to things i've not been to before um a, a victim of overthinking that sort of thing but oh my goodness what a lovely day one of the things that's really really great about going to a show like that is that you get to actually feel all the yarns you can get familiar with which type of wool is a texture that you like so even if you get it from a different brand you can you can go okay well that's that's this kind of sheep or that's alpaca so i know that i'm pretty happy with that as a texture and um and yeah the array of colors oh my god i could have happily spent a thousand pounds if i'd have had it to spend on yarn there and come away feeling like it was worth every penny because 
it was yeah such a huge amount of wonderful products so thank you so much to everybody who was so friendly and lovely at the event today what a wonderful time we both had and i will a hundred percent be there for the next one do you have a yarn thing like that near you is that is that something that you've been to before what are your experiences do you have ones that you can recommend in your own area so that people have other places to go to too tell us what what are your favorite crafting events and yeah let's have a chat in the comments.